Well, we now come to game 9 and uh, Vichy had the white pieces against Levon Aronian and as you said Aronian was one of the favourites and very well prepared opponent. Yes, but I would say at this point not one of the favourites anymore. I mean, uh, well he had this bad start with Vichy and I think he started, uh, well he had to gamble to get back and I think he even lost uh, another game with, with White against uh, Gelfand if I remember correctly. So Aronian was not really, let's say, part of the, the group fighting for, I mean, obviously the world championship but even even top top honors at, the, at this point but he's still a pretty good good player at the time and uh, well also i think we spoke a bit about uh, vicious white openings and um, well that against uh, the petrov he more or less sort of waved the white white flag to some extent but marshall we had spent a lot of energy on because we thought it could be up to four or five games and uh, well the first two games has been incredible successes. Vichy played good opening ideas and he got nice position and uh, sort of executed them extremely well. Yes. But you can see here we're starting to, to scrape the, the, the barrel and uh, I mean this opening uh, game is not exactly a, an opening success and uh, I mean had uh, Aronian been you know maybe a bit more ambitious and stuff it could become qu quite unpleasant. I think in the end Vichy was very happy to, to, to draw this. Okay, um, well the accepted Marshall again but, well, here everybody will go Rugi 1 these days. But, I mean, we had prepared Rugi 2, which is um, it's a possible move. And uh, I think at that point, I've actually forgotten now, but I think maybe Queen H4 was sort of uh, the, the main move according to theory, but basically there was very little theory. But, um, and now I have forgotten which kind of, I mean, we had prepared some kind of detail, uh, nothing, nothing genius, but at least uh, we would have some kind of idea to play but I remember specifically that we thought I mean the, the move Aronian of course played and very quickly that Bishop G4 to F5 was just a very good compensation and it's clear that if I look at it now with, with sort of modern eyes and uh, how the marshal has developed I, it, makes, it makes very little sense but I mean we had sort of prepared this um, this strange um, setup of, of, of King F2 You're, I mean well White is a pawn up and we're trying to to really ho hold on to it and, uh, and such and um, I mean when you look at things with the computer you kind of hold it together but again if you look at um, well positions where black has sacrificed a pawn for, for positional uh, compensation in, in the marshal this is uh, I mean this is just a dream version for black and uh, I mean it, it makes uh, zero sense so uh, just one thing that uh, in some games uh, your strategy was to look at a well established line go deep into it while I see that in some games the strategy was just to find a new idea which posed some problems. Uh, I mean, that's, well, it sounds like you say it, then it almost sounds good. And then there is at least a bit of unpredictable, you know. The opponent will not know, is, is Vichy going to play some, you know, very deep preparation with an idea in move 25? Or will he just deviate at move uh, 10 to, you right. know, to get, a, get a playable idea? And I think, uh, I mean, Vichy is extremely f flexible in, in that sense. I don't think he has sort of a a locked-in concept it has to be like this I mean give him anything with quality and he will do it and it doesn't really matter if it's move 10 or 25 in that sense um, I think um, the general idea here is fine the problem is the, is the quality simply I mean uh, and uh, yeah uh, not, not much to say and I think uh, quickly I think maybe Queen d7 was not really part of our, our preparations to a huge extent and well I mean the Queen is eyeing the h3 square and such and uh, again when I look at this it's uh, ah, yeah <laughs> it doesn't look so great right now, no, but no. Uh, I think it had the novelty factor back yeah, then. Yeah, but also, I mean, basically, we had some decent idea had he played the main line, and then, you know, it's also annoying. Well, this is the third marshal. You know, it's difficult to come up with ideas after yeah. ideas, and then we thought, oh, we actually have some idea here, and should he play bishop g4 to f5, you can make a draw, and we thought king f2 and such, but uh, again, yeah. Uh, I mean, sure. Well, so I think Vichy took and played knight d2 and uh, I forgot yeah something like this I mean well there is even similar lines where black draws completely effortlessly in, in similar positions sometimes even with the queens off this is just considered a, a very draw is ending I mean here if anything um, well black has could have pressure on the queen side and even on the on the king side and such and a scenario with I mean I think a dream of us was that would he play something like rook e8? We could take and play the bishop to f4. Um, 
he could lose directly because of Tegan and uh, Queen H3 in this position? Uh, probably not. But the idea should just be that if they got swept off, a knight could come to G3, and you will start somewhat dominating the bishop on uh, on, on on G6. And despite you having crippled pawn, let's say a knight on G3, a king on G1, a queen on D2, it could actually start becoming very good. But that was not going to happen. And also, I mean, I think after bishop F4. Again, if you look at it with modern eyes, uh, black would just easily play bishop f8 and be completely fine. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, there might be still some, in, in this series of these 14 games, there might still be some relevant opening knowledge. This is not going to be one of them, I'm sorry. So, um, I think after a5, bishop played a3, and ah, they agreed a draw, and I think uh, I was relieved. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, well, I think the good point was, of course, that Aronian didn't have much left to, to play for, and well, maybe also I have been bad mouthing Black's White's position a lot. It's uh, it's maybe bad, but it's, it is after all solid. And even when B4 comes, I think Vichy is he will take it. He will take an A8. He might even take an B4 and go Bishop D2. It's not gonna be. He's not gonna lose it. Uh, I mean, a weaker player might lose it, but Vichy he understands it and he will he will swap it off to a draw. But uh, of course, with with the white pieces and you immediately get into a position where. You, uh, you have absolutely nothing positive to say. It's, it's not ideal, but uh, I mean, on the positive side, it's half a point closer to the to the world championship. But yes. um, well, this was not a highlight. Well, usually when you get closer to the end of the tournament, uh, your objective preparation often conflicts with the tournament standing. So for sure, as well. But I would almost say that this went a bit in the wrong direction because if a draw was a good result. There is many ways to get a draw in the martial arts. We will actually have a debate about that before move game 14. But, uh, I mean, this even contains some risk, I think. Well, Vichy probably still felt that uh, drawing the rest might not be enough. So, I mean, he still wanted to put pressure. And you can also see Aronian was out of form, so why not put pressure? I think simply, well, uh, it's clear that we just uh, lacked uh, uh, good ideas against the martial. But, okay. Well, he scored two points against the martial. It was already a success. But, I mean, this one, it was clear that, uh, okay. Just, just out of ideas.